The gospel is not meant to be complicated. We should be able to articulate it. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scripture, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That's the gospel. What we do is we believe that message. When we go out and we try to reach people, this is how simple it ought to be. It's not meant to be complicated. Why don't you guys stand at the at the back of the auditorium? You can't, no, turn around, go look that way, go look that way. You can't look, okay? So here's what I want to do. I want to illustrate how we can articulate the gospel. Joel. Yes. Your job is to tell me how to put this jacket on without looking at me. So you can't turn around. You just have to tell me how to put the jacket on. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to try to do that according to your instruction. Go for it. Pick up the jacket. Turn it so the inside is facing your body. Put it behind you, leaving the inside towards your body. Um, flip it right side up. <laughs> uh, stick your right arm through the hole on the inside of the jacket. <laughs> um, take it off. Try again. <laughs> Samuel, why don't you give him a hand? Okay, help him out with this. Can't look. Pick the jacket. Pick. What do you want to do? Pick the jacket. Pick it. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ask okay. Somebody nearby, how to put it on? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants Mr. Max to help? I do too. Mr. Max, go to the back. Can't look. You got to help him. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, come on. Uh, take the jacket by the collar with the inside facing you. Rotate it around your back and put your arms through the sleeves. <laughs> Not knowing where you're at right now, it makes it difficult to go on. <laughs> All right, let's give them a hand. Let's give them a hand. When it comes to the gospel, take nothing for granted. We've all been in a situation before where somebody has used words we don't know. And we, we scratch our heads and we go, what, isn't there just an easier way to say what you're saying? There are a doctor who uses all of these big words. At the end, you just want to know what you need to do to be healthy. You say, doctor, can you give me that in layman's terms, please? And he says, you're going to die if you don't get on the treadmill. Now, those are words I understand. Thank you, doctor. Use words that people understand and explain words. For instance, the word saved. If you just say, hey man, you want to be saved, what do you think people are going to think? You know what they understand? They understand heaven and hell, though. 